It is all hands on deck for power crews as they wait to see the effects Dorian could have in Florida. And on your side's Avery Cotton is live for us in Clearwater tonight. And you spoke with the president of Duke Energy today, and I've got to imagine they are just watching and waiting with every track forecast that comes out. And they are prepared, Jen. Thousands of crew members are in place and ready to go, ready to restore power as quickly as possible should Hurricane Dorian knock it out. As Hurricane Dorian crawls closer to the east coast of Florida, power crews are standing by, ready to handle any kind of electricity outages that may come this way. Duke Energy has 6,500 transmission and distribution personnel in place should power go out. Most people are familiar with our line technicians, the uh, folks out in the field who are actually climbing the poles and restoring the power, but it really takes a whole village. For now, they'll be stationed in what's called mustering sites in Clearwater, Davenport, and the villages. As soon as the storm passes and it's safe, those wind speeds start going down, we'll then be setting up base camps for our crews closer to where the heaviest impacts will be, and those crews will start kind of moving in to those locations. And our local crews are getting big support from all across the nation. Duke Energy crews from the Midwest are also here in Florida ready to assist. Other power companies from as far as Canada are also on the way. And you know, it's not just linemen who are part of these crews. We're talking safety personnel, nurses, and fuel trucks, and many, many other people ready to assist and help out in any way they can. Live in Clearwater, Avery Cotton, 8 on your side.